Can you add my name into the deed of this house? <laughs> Sorry, but that's not gonna happen in this life. This was the last reply I got from my selfish fiancé yesterday. So guys, please tell me, am I the bad girl for being mad at my fiancé? Because he told me he would not add my name to the house after we get married. My fiancé, 28 male, and I, 26 female, started dating 3 years ago. And I can't wait to be with him for the rest of my life. But I think I may have messed up. We got engaged 3 months ago and are planning on getting married in November. And last night we were discussing some things about the wedding. And the topic of our financial plan for once we are married, which is where the argument started. Cause I asked him when I would be added onto the deed for the house. Background. When my fiancé was 23, his uncle died and left him a huge inheritance, which has basically set him up for life, especially since he doesn't like super flashy things and only really spends money on his hobbies. And for the first two years after he struggled to date because he has always worried the girl he was dating was using him. I moved in with fiancé a year into our relationship and he has never charged me for any bills and only expects me to pay for and luxury items I want. Nine months ago, me and my fiancé had a discussion in which he asked me if I wanted to stop working because I worked as a teacher and he could tell that my work was not making me happy which he was right, we came to the agreement that I would stop working on some ground rules. The ground rules include that he would give me allowance every month and that he expected me not just sit at home all day on my phone because he wants me to find hobbies and passions because we both don't want children. I was totally on board with the rules and quitting really helped my mental health. So when I brought up having my name added to the house deed, he got really quiet. He told me that he didn't feel comfortable adding my name to the deed as the house had been fully paid off by him before we had even met. And he felt that he is the one responsible for all the payments. This made me upset because I thought he was trying to say that I was using him and we are getting married. So I thought the house would become ours. He told me that things will become ours but this was the first house he ever bought and that he wanted to keep something for himself. He told me that if he decided to change houses or have one built which we have discussed before, that he would have both our names put on the deed. This made me more upset because if he is willing to do it on the possible next house, why can't he do for our current house? We got into the argument and I left to go to my sister's apartment and texted my friend about the situation. And she told me that I was being the idiot and overreacting but I don't see it that way. And I think he should be willing to put my name on the date. Am I overreacting and throwing away a good relationship or is he being an idiot by not seeing my side? You are the bad girl OP, you didn't contribute anything to the house, you don't pay any bills, in fact, he was generous enough to notice that you were not happy at your job and has been supporting you in finding hobbies. And things that you enjoy instead of working, most people are not that lucky. You are not entitled to assets that your fiancé acquired before he even met you. Be thankful that your fiancé is in financial position that doesn't require you to work. Stop being greedy. You are the bad girl. It was not your house to begin with nor was it given to you. You don't pay bills and it doesn't sound like you contribute to any property taxes. Don't even have a job but that's understandable. If this is the life you are comfortable living then so be it. But remember that being financially independent on someone else comes with a price to pay. And throwing away your relationship over what? He is giving you everything else you ask for and you are still asking for more? You are the bad girl. It's his house before you met. You are not going to work and he is providing you financially. If you want financial independence, earn your own money. Why is what is suddenly yours? What are you bringing to the table? Yes, you will be married but you did nothing to build his wealth. So how is it unreasonable that he would want to protect pre-existing assets in case of divorce? If the situations were reversed, you had feel the same. He is very lucky and he is sharing that with you. Try to look at it from his perspective and maybe you had come off as less of a girl digger. 
a little update from OP is I wanted to answer some common questions people were asking me. I called the money my fiancé gives me an allowance. And some people said that it was a red flag, that is the word I used to describe it but it's really more of a salary as my fiancé has me listed as an employee at one of his companies to make it all legal and so that I can have health insurance and it is all in legal contract, his idea that protects me in case we do split up. My allowance is 5 grand a month which I know is a lot and I am realizing that my fiancé put me in financial position that most people would die for and I need to acknowledge that some people have also talked about how much money my fiancé has. I don't know the exact number but he has told me the range and show me his finances and has told me now we could live this way for another 100 years. I will talk about a prenup with him if he still wants to be together. For the next story, am I the bad girl for donating my sister's wedding fund to charity after she insulted my fiancé? So here's the story. I, 28 female, I have been living with my sister, 32 female, and her fiancé, 33 female. For about a year now, we all get along well or so I thought. My sister, let's call her Emma, has been planning her dream wedding for over 2 years. It's said to be a lavish affair and and I have been supportive and involved in the planning process. Our parents passed away a few years ago and they left us a decent inheritance with the stipulation that a portion of it should be used for of our respective weddings. Emma is the executor of the estate and she has been managing the funds. My fiancé, Jake, 30 male and I got engaged a few months ago. Jake is an amazing, caring man but he comes from a humble background. He is also a cancer survivor which left him with some scarring and hair loss. Emma had never been particularly warm towards him but I thought it was just her personality. Anyway, last week we all went out for dinner to celebrate my engagement. Everything was going well until Emma got quite drunk and started making snide comments about Jake. She said things like, can you even afford a wedding? And how does it feel to be settling for a guy who looks like that? Jake was clearly hurt but he kept his cool and tried to brush it off. When we got home, I confronted Emma about her behavior. She was unapologetic and told me that I was throwing my life away by marrying someone like Jake. I was furious and I decided to take some time to cool off. A few days later, while Emma was at work, I accessed the estate accounts and transferred the entirety of her wedding fund to a charity that supports cancer research and patient care. It was a significant amount and I knew it would make a real difference. I then informed Emma of my decision and told her that she could plan her wedding on her own time since she didn't value the love and commitment that Jake and I share. Emma is absolutely livid and has been telling everyone who will listen that I am the worst sister in the world. Our extended family is now divided, with some supporting my actions and others condemning me for robbing Emma of her dream wedding. I'm starting to feel guilty but I also feel like Emma got what she deserved. So guys, please tell me, am I the bad girl for donating my sister's wedding fund to a charity after she insulted my fiancé? Oh, OP, you were also screwed the charity, she can now go after them as they had received funds through a criminal act. This will cost them a lawyer fees and time. I have no idea why your mind went straight to your felony. And this will come back to bite you. She is an idiot but you risk your entire future over your sister's insult. Why do you think your fiancé would like visiting you in jail? You are the idiot OP. You are the bad girl. The money was not yours. You stole it from your sister and went against your late parents wishes. I hope she holds you really responsible, your reaction was thoughtless and immature. I hope your sister gets a lawyer and contacts the charity and informs them of the theft and they return the funds and you learn a very important and expensive lesson by replacing the money to the charity out of your funds. Am I the bad girl for stealing my sister's money? Yes, yes, you are. You are a whole grown adult acting like a spiteful teenager. She must not have spoken of your SO in that way, but you could legit go to prison over this if she chose to press charges, which would be well within her rights. Shame on you, how embarrassing. For the next story, am I the bad girl for insisting on inviting a friend with former addiction problems to our wedding despite my fiancé's wishes? 
Back in the olden days of 2010, I was 17 years old and using drugs recreationally, I had had a rough year feeling what some might label the wrong crowd. Yeah, and met someone whose life made my rough year look like a child's play. He was self-medicating and running from more things than I was, so it makes sense why he was deeper into the drug scene. I was not ever in active addiction and willingly close to stop before leaving for college. If anything, I was more addicted to the slightly toxic nature of my relationship with this guy. We went our separate ways when I started school. But that summer is kind of burned into my brain for a lot of pivotal life reasons. And we have kept in touch to this day over text, calls or social media. 13 years later and I'm getting married now, my fiancé and I actually went to same high school. But our paths never crossed back then, we connected years down the line and ended up here. We recently started the planning process and one of the first steps has been making a draft of our guest list. I mentioned wanting to invite the friend from before and my fiancé immediately shot me down. She claimed she could never stand him back in high school, thanks to his bad attitude, thinking maybe she had some personal sort of personal run-in. She said he never did what the teachers asked was disruptive and was generally a nuisance in class if he bothered to show up. An argument ensued, I told her she was being weird for holding some sort of decade-long grudge against a troubled teenage boy who she had never so much as spoken to. She claimed this is her wedding too and it's a 2 years one no situation. I feel like we are traversing petty territory now and would like some outside perspective. Am I the bad guy here guys? You are not the bad guy. This is a good opportunity for learning in marriage and how to compromise. She has an old opinion of said person, however, she has not met the person recently. Might be a good time to introduce her to your friend over a short coffee visit. If this friend of your means so much to you, you deserve his attending the wedding. It is never good when neither of you are really listening to each other. Wedding planning is the devil. Don't let it eat your relationship. Congratulations guys.